All right, I'm sure it was very long and boring, but I promise you we are done with all this boring stuff. The last thing we need to do to connect our uh, one signal to our pod file and we are going to start coding. So bear with me, we are getting there. So we say pod uh, one signal, save it. And let's go to terminal cd to our uh, file location pod install installing one signal the numbers next to the pods are actually the versions of the pods we are installing so one signal is 254 once this is done we can start coding All right, it's finished, we can close it, open our project from our Xcode workspace, and uh, we are ready to go. In our app delegate, we need to configure our uh, Firebase, our backendless, and our one signal so we can use them. So we need to import. First, we need to import our Firebase. Then I'm going to import our one signal. We are not importing backendless because it's already connected to our bridging header which is automatically allows us to use it all over our project. Okay, um, to set up backendless I'm going to uh, have two variables here which is going to be the app ID and it's going to be equal to string and another one let and this is going to be API key which is also a string this is uh, app ID and API key for our backendless so let's go to our backendless and uh, get the information application ID copy jump back and paste it here and API key this make sure you copy the iOS API key Okay, so we can use this. For Firebase, it's straightforward. We say Firebase dot configure. So this will make Firebase ready. For backendless, we are going to create an instance of backendless, and then we can uh, we can configure it because I'm going to use the backendless in uh, multiple locations. Uh, it's good to create one instance of it so we can use it everywhere. So for this I'm going to create one file. Uh, let's just create underneath. Which is going to be a Swift file. Command then to create a new file. Hit next. I'm going to call this constants. Right, and here I'm going to say var backendless is equals and we access the backendless dot shared instance so now we have a variable we can access our backendless anywhere let's go to app, app delegate and uh, we are going to set up our backendless so we say backendless uh, let's quickly clean you say shift command k to clean the project So now we have access to our variable we just created in our constants file. So we say backendless, we need to unwrap it uh, since it's an optional. And then we say init, and we have an application ID and uh, API key. So application ID is going to be our app ID here. And our API key, com copy paste it, is going to be our API key. So what does this do? This line of code is makes our uh, Firebase ready. This line of code is makes our uh, backendless ready. So I'm going to build, command B to build, to make sure we have no errors here.
All right, the build was successful, so every setup is working. Let's set up also our one signal. So I'm going to say one signal and say sorry, we need the init with launch options, uh, which has our uh, app ID handle notifications. and the settings I think it's this one here so the launch options we are going to pass our launch options from here you can copy and paste it the app ID let's go to our uh, one signal and find our app ID actually so we have an app settings here keys and IDs and one signal app ID we can copy this we can go back to our uh, Xcode here actually let's uh, let's put this in our constants as well so I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a constant here so we can access it anytime we need it going to say uh, public let k1 sig null id one signal app id is equals and it's going to be a string and I'm going to paste my one signal app id that I copied from one signal website so uh, shift command clean to clean our project so we can access this uh, let's also put a note here which says uh, IDs and keys and let's go back to our application and here the in our app delegate the app ID we are going to pass k1 signal Technically, it should auto fill. And then we have the handle notifications, we put nil. And uh, settings, we put nil. Actually, we need uh, handle notification action, and also we need the handle notification received. Okay, let's uh, build our application to see if this is working as well. Okay, we have no errors. We can actually even run our application. By running, I'm sure it's going to crash because I have deleted the view controller that controls this view here. Let's just check it. Yeah. So let's see if it's going to crash. I'm pretty sure it is going to. Mm, nope, it doesn't. Anyway. Our application is running fine. I can see white space because no, actually it did crash. So we uh, we can see our application. Yeah, this is the crash, which is fine. It's expected. We have no view controller. Okay, so our setup is working fine, and uh, we can start building our application.